Hello guys, welcome back, PK here. So in this video, I'm working on this interesting viewer-suggested integral that could have been solved using U substitution, but I'll be using trigonometric substitution, so stay tuned. Okay, here's the question. This is one of the viewer-suggested integrals. So the question is evaluate this integral from 0 to 3, square root of x over 3 minus x dx. So my first thought was to use U substitution, not once, but maybe just the two times of U substitutions. But in this video, I'll be using trigonometric substitution. So let me just rewrite this first. Integral from 0 to 3 of square root of now x over 3 minus x dx. This is the same as integral from 0 to 3 square root of the x over square root of 3 minus x and dx. And let's focus on this denominator of your integrand. So if we have an expression of, say, square root of a squared minus b squared times x squared, we usually put this x as a over b times sine theta. One of the three well-known trigonometric substitutions. But our denominator, we have the square root of 3 minus x only. This is your denominator. If we had square root of, say, square root of 3, that is 9, minus square root of the x, x squared. If this was your denominator, then we could use this expression. But your denominator was just square root of 3 minus x. So that's why I'll be using now, instead of this, I'll be using x as a over b times sine square theta. So in our case, our trigonometric substitution has to be x is equal to 3 times sine squared theta. Okay, then we can easily say your dx is equal to 3 times 2 times sine theta times cosine theta and d theta. Okay, then using this, let's rewrite our integral, right? So we're working on definite integral. That means your lower bound and the upper bound should be changed. So the upper bound when x is equal to 3. Okay, then your theta should be pi over 2. And the lower bound when x is equal to 0, then your theta is also equal to 0. Okay, so using this, what we're working on has to be integral from 0 to pi over now 2. Okay, then we have square root of, okay, then we have 3 times sine square theta over 3 times 1 minus sine square theta. Okay. okay, then your dx was this whole thing, right? So 3 times 2 times sine theta, cosine theta, and d theta. So inside of the square root, we can cancel these threes out. Then at the same time, using trigonometric identity, 1 minus sine squared theta is just a cosine squared theta. So that's why we can now rewrite your integral as, let me pull this 3 outside. So 3 times integral from 0 to pi over 2 of sine theta over cosine theta times 2 times sine theta cosine theta d theta. So it looks like we can cancel this cosine theta out. Okay, so that's why what we have now is 3 times integral from 0 to pi over 2. And then 2 times sine square theta. And then we have d theta. I'll be using trigonometric identity once again about cosine, this double angle formula for the cosine. So let me use this cosine. 2 theta is 1 minus 2 times sine squared theta. So that 2 times sine squared theta is just equal to 1 minus cosine 2 theta. Let's use this then your integral is going to be looking like 3 times integral from 0 to pi over 2. Using this identity, then we can represent your integral as 1 minus 
cosine 2 theta d theta. So we're almost done because we can easily evaluate this. So that is why if you get the antiderivative part, then it has to be 3 times, uh, let me make a parenthesis, then theta uh, minus for antiderivative of cosine 2 theta has to be sine 2 theta over now 2 when your theta is from 0 to pi over now 2. Okay, so if you're making a calculation for this, it looks like, okay, so 3 times, let me make a bracket, plug it in pi over 2 to your theta, then we have pi over 2 minus sine of 2 times pi over 2 is just a pi, that divided by 2, minus now 0, minus sine of 0 over 2. Close your bracket. Okay, so both this sine pi, this is equal to now 0. And then sine of 0 is also equal to 0. So that's why what we have is now 3 times parenthesis, just a pi over 2 minus 0. This is just equal to 3 pi over 2. So 3 pi over 2 was the answer for this integral. Okay, so pretty interesting viewer suggested integral, so I'll be back soon.